Roger Bisbee from Skill Builder back out on site with the lads. If you hear a few noises, that's them making a few animal noises down there. But uh, what we're going to look at today is core cutting, going through masonry with nice diamond cores. It's the way to go. If you're doing it with the old hammer and chisel, you're really working in a stone age. So what I want to do is explain to you just before I get started something about cores. Cores mostly use dry diamond drilling these days and they're universal in as much as they go through most uh, different materials. But what you do find is that the resins that hold the diamond segments on, all the tiny little bits of diamond are in there on the segments, those resins are different. The hard resins are good for soft materials because soft materials are very abrasive and they just keep wearing away that diamond bit and exposing new diamonds. So that's fine. If you've got a soft material and you've got a hard resin core, it'll be absolutely fine. The difference is when you come to doing things like engineering brick or concrete or something that's very hard, what you find is that that resin doesn't get worn away in quite the same way because it's not abrasive, the material you're going through. So it's not exposing new diamonds to the, the diamond tip. So in the end, it glazes over and all you're doing is spinning a thing around and you think this diamond's absolutely useless. All you need to do is take your diamond, run it through some soft material, a bit of old breeze block or something like that, and that will just rub away the resin that holds the diamonds in and expose some fresh diamond to the tip. You can actually feel the diamond with your fingernail, and if you can't feel those little bits of diamond there, then that means that it's glazed over and you need to just, what they call dressing it, run it through something soft, It'll bring the diamond back to life and away you go. I've seen loads of guys chucking diamond bits away, chucking diamond blades away onto the skip, saying a load of old rubbish, last time I buy those, and that's all they've got to do, but they don't necessarily know that. So get yourself a diamond. You need to get the right size for the job. What I found is that if you're doing something like a soil pipe, you need to fit that collar inside the hole because it has to push back and go to wall. So don't just select the pipe size and go through with that because if you get the wrong size, the worst thing in the world is having to enlarge that hole, having to get another diamond bit that's larger and center it on that hole and enlarge the hole. So if you get it right first time, double check, double check your positions. And what we like to do is go through with a pilot drill first of all, just to get our position so we know exactly where we are but you can't always do that. Here's the diamond core bit all threaded up and what we do is we put a, a pilot drill into the end of the core bit. It's a little hole down there where that just fits in just snugly in there. And when we come to take it out, which we need to do fairly quickly, all we want that pilot bit to do is center that in the pilot hole that we've made so that it's not skidding around the wall. But once we've got the first section of that diamond core bit in there, what we then need to do, take our little drift, put it in there and get the pilot drill out of the core bit. Because if you don't have that pilot bit out of the core bit, what you find is the pilot wants to go one way, the core bit goes another, and all it does is starts jamming it. You can even bend the drill bit in the end. So as soon as you've got that established, you know where you're going, it won't skid around the wall, and you can then just take that straight away out and um, go through the rest of the bit. But I'll show you that now. We're gonna do that. What I've got on this is dust extraction, and it's a bit of a refinement. Not many people bother using dust extraction because it's only suitable for the right kind of drill. But what the dust extraction does do is obviously it takes all the dust away, but it also cools it. It makes sure that no dust is binding up around the core, which is sometimes a problem. If you have that situation where you've got dust, the best thing to do is withdraw the core every few seconds, just clear the dust out, then go back in, because the last thing you want is it all jamming up in there and jamming the drill bit, and then you find that it's trying to go around. But they've got a clutch on them to save you from getting your wrist broken. But I say, just keep going in and out, in and out, rather like you would if you were having sex, if you can remember what that's like. And then you'll find that it never jams up. It's really good. Mm -hmm. 